What's up, guys? My name is Cove, and uh, welcome back to World of Tanks. Uh, today, we're going to try and solve my ranked problem. Well, not my ranked problem, but the ranked problem. Trying to theorycraft a system into existence that is um, fair, balanced, and uh, more fun than the system we have now. Now, they did improve ranked from removing uh, reward vehicles to making it 10v10 to, um, to adding the season rewards and all this stuff. Like, they've, they've made strides on the ranked battles, but I'm going to try and help them out with this one. Um, so, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and get into that. So, here's what I think uh, need to be kept, what needs to be changed, and on the second one, on the second page of this document, I do have uh, some more stuff to talk about. So, uh, what to keep? We should keep the 10v10 with the tank-based matchmaking. So, a cron meets a cron, and a... Uh, and a Leo meets a Leo, and an IS-7 meets another fast, fast heavies meet fast heavies, you know. Uh, VZs should only meet VZs, in my opinion. Um, if you have a VZ versus, say, a 277, that completely throws off the balance of the game, and I think that needs to be edited with the, in, with the new tanks in the game. Uh, the Yo's matched up against T-125s and Super Con or T-125s match up against Yo Tank and uh, and uh, Super Conks doesn't doesn't really work I don't think uh, I think it should be more matched up against like a uh, a 113 uh, uh, E-100 kind of thing because it's it's a slow not a lot of gun depression, massive turret. It's not a hull down heavy like a super conk is. I don't know. Like yeah, it's technically kind of the same heavy, but it's not. Uh, anyway, um, I think we need to keep the chevron system. Honestly, uh, the way you gain chevrons, the way you lose chevrons. I think that needs to stay. Um, Ranked rewards for progression and the seasons. I, I, I think we we need that <laughs> to actually get people to play ranked. I think without getting bonds and uh, credits and gold uh, for free just by playing. Um, I don't think you, you get uh, the numbers that you do in ranked. I don't think people want badges that much and uh, some random camos. Um, so... Those are the, the, the three main things I came up with when I was when I was thinking this one through, uh, how I would uh, change all of this uh, system. I, I think those those three things can be kept. I think 10v10 is a really good matchup for ranked. I think it, it's a little more skill base. Um, and we're going to get more into the skill base part of ranked rather than luck and uh, team based. A little bit later on. I mean, you do need to play with your team well. But you obviously have to have uh, some individual skill to actually impact your games enough to make it through currently. And I think, uh, yeah, I don't, I, we're going to get to that. So, um, changes, I think, that would improve ranked. I think the division system is kind of stupid. Uh, you have to progress through uh, two weeks worth of, of torture, basically, of gaining and losing chevrons just to get a rank. I think that's dumb. I think we should change that to a system where you play, like, I don't know, a set number of battles. And then when wherever you end up after that set number of battles is where you start ranked and then you can move up and down for the next two weeks um, with bonus battles and stuff like that. Uh, the way I want to see it implemented, I guess, is to do it like a 100 battle system where you get to play like a 100 battles over two uh, 
two weeks maybe even a month if it's if it's going to be 100 battles maybe it's 50 battles or something like that maybe like every 25 games you get um Uh, bonus battles that you can use or maybe you just get the bonus battles after the first 20 just like you do now and you just get a set number of bonus battles or something i don't know uh, well not a set number of bonus battles but a dynamically increasing uh number of bonus battles based on your first 20 games or something like that i, I think the division system's kind of dumb uh i think the bonus battles are kind of based on a little bit of luck it's it's almost impossible mm -hmm. to constantly get um four chevron games so i mean you don't have that much control over your bonus battles so why not just remove them honestly uh and completely get rid of the division system i i think the chevrons actually end up making uh quite a bit of sense uh and i think I think just removing bonus battles, it'd be good if we removed the division system. Uh, you play a set number of battles, no bonus battles, you get what you get. <laughs> and then it, I think it, it shows your skill a little more and that you're not just lucky. Because 100 battles, if you get like 85%, yeah. Now, there's some other stuff in here that I've I've thought about to remedy the fact that you don't get the bonus battles, right? So, a set pool of maps that are balanced. That's uh that's one thing that, that rank doesn't even have right now. You have maps like Highway. You have maps like uh Live Oaks that on the surface look like they're balanced maps. Highway has um, a bit of an issue with uh, light tanks, especially um, from the north spawn. Uh, the north spawn seems really easy to defend, or is much easier to defend than the south spawn. And uh, they have easier access to the city, they have... Uh, much easier progression through the um i guess that'd be the south spawn that i'm thinking of not the north spawn but anyway um so balance just from like take out some of these these maps that are more focused on either spawn based uh to win for all the players in the game or just throw up some balanced maps that are like somewhat skill based and it's not just a complete fucking corridor um, so we'll get into the maps later, but that's just one idea I have. And that's a, that's something you see in a lot of games. So there's CSGO, for example, for their higher comp in competition, they only have like seven maps they can choose from. Uh, League of Legends has one map. Um... Well, there's, like, four maps in League of Legends, but there's, like, one map. Uh, the arenas in Rocket League make no difference whatsoever. Apex Legends, three maps. If I'm not mistaken, it's three. And then you have the arena maps. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think of more maps. Rainbow Six Siege has, like, ten maps. So, like, uh, we don't need all these maps in ranked. That's what I'm trying to say. Just, like, limit the the maps, right? And there's some maps that are, aren't in ranked that I think probably could be. So there's that also. Um, next thing up, uh, limit the maximum number of a single tank. And what I mean by that is limit the amount of a single tank in one game. There should never be a game where you see five Kronvongs per team that is brokenly bad and uh and it's kind of just annoying to see um so this has been particularly bad i think this season and then it kind of got better after after the auction was over 
because people are just trying to get as many battle pass points and 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 bonds from ranked as possible so after the um the bond auction ended for the clan wars reward tanks which everybody paid massively over the minimum bid it would appear uh except for the person who had the minimum bid um they kind of just stopped playing, and I think that kind of uh, made ranked better because everybody was just trying to, to sprint it, and that's when the entire server is trying to spit ranked. It's uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, next up, skill matching. What do, I, what do I mean by skill matching? I mean placing two te- or two players on opposite teams that have the same uh, PR level and the same win rate like in a like bracket area right so for me right i have like 6600 pr because i used to be really really garbage at this game for for many years uh i'm not good now but i used to be terrible like klaus level bad um so and I have a 53% win rate. 52. Okay. 52 and a half. Maybe you can round up to 53. Who knows? Um, so I would be matched up against a player who has a 53% win rate and like 7k PR. Like, that's fair. Up to like 73, 74. That, I would be good with that. So, like, from 65 to 7,500, from 7,500 to 8,500, from 8,500 to 9,500, right? Like, so go like that. Go by 500s instead of uh, the thousands, because um, normally those those players that are above, like, 7,500 are also kind of, like, the same recent W8 as the players who are... Uh, about 8500 that's just kind of the way i'm looking at that and I, I just think that's a that's a good thing um this isn't even just a change for ranked this is just a, a change for the game in general um can we remove artillery please um uh that'd be great uh it makes ranked better because you don't have uh fucking boomers playing they're already eating supper um and playing ranked and doing nothing and getting chevrons for it so yeah uh, just remove artillery from the game that's uh that's all i got for that one so um the map pool i actually made a map pool for ranked here it is here it is here it is and these i think are just a small group of maps, right? But I think they're the most balanced maps in the game. I think, um, with the exception of, um, Corellia and Lakeville and kind of Redshire, they're mostly free from, um, the corridor. Uh, they can kind of get to the corridor aspect of the game, but it, there's still, like, plenty of space to play around with in those corridors right so serene coast i think is one of the best maps in the game el Hulu obviously is one of the best maps in the game cliff i think is probably the most balanced map in the game it's literally mirrored on both sides and there's plenty of uh d- there's plenty of like different ways to play cliff so like it it it's pretty good map for ranked i think uh fjords i think should be added to ranked and here's why it may be too big for ranked, but then again, I don't think it is. Now, granted, if you spawn on the east spawn of fjords, you do have a higher chance of cap or camping and winning than you would if you were on the south or the west of fjords. So that's one thing you might question about Fjords, but I still think it's a better map than some of the maps we have into ranked right now. Uh, Ghost Town, you may notice, is not on this map pool list, and that is because um, 
Nobody knows how to play it. Except for like super unicumps and unicum players. Like that the, nobody else knows how to play the map. And there's so many people that don't know how to play that map that when they get into ranked and they don't know how to play the map, they freak out and they just go to the either the very inner city or they all go eight nine. And the problem with that is is one two wait. I have that backwards. They all go one two. And the problem with that is is eight nine is where normally you can have a medium tank dominate the game because nobody goes there. So uh, that's my problem with Ghost Town. I think that if people just figured out how to play it and didn't have it perma banned, uh, it'd be great. Now the next thing you probably noticed is that Safe Haven is on here and i know a lot of people fucking hate safe haven uh, i do not hate safe haven uh, i think safe haven is one of the better maps in the game and it is um it's much better than um i don't know sick Fred line um i think those two could swap but then again safe haven's already in the game i think steps is um it's an interesting map for ranked, but I think it works. I think it works for ranked. Proc is a great map for ranked. I don't think uh, Redshire is even in the ranked rotation. I don't think I've played it one time, but I think it'd be a really good ranked map, honestly. Uh, and then obviously Sand River and Westfield are two of the best maps in the game. I, I, I think your, your big five maps, you're going to like... You're going to want to see a lot in ranked are Serene Coast, El Hulif Cliff, uh, Sand River, Westfield, and Prark, most likely. I forgot Mali. Huh. So when I was making my list, I was going through the maps, and I completely forgot Malinovka. Um, that's uh, slightly embarrassing. So, yeah, Malinovka uh, is one of the oldest maps in the game. Uh, everybody knows how to play it, and uh, it's, uh, it's a good map for ranked. So, um, now you may be wondering where Live Oaks is also. Um, see, the problem with Live Oaks is, is you dominate it if you have uh, better fast tanks. All you need is better fast tanks, and you win. Now, granted, there are very good defensive locations on um, the side of the tracks. Um, but nobody knows those locations, apparently. And so, yeah, it's just... It's not been a very good map for ranked. And with the meta the way it is, is you just come up to the ridge. You see, Even if there's, there's nobody pushing through the, the ditch, right? If you go up to the ridge... All you see when you look over is hold down crons and VZs and IS-7s and 277. You just see a bunch of hold down heavies and medium tanks that can pin you and you can't pin them. Well, really, they can't even pin you. It's literally just two. It's basically a picture of a ping pong game where everything just keeps bouncing off the paddle, right? So, anyway... That's my map pool for ranked. I think, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 maps, 100 battles. That's a good rotation. You're going to play each map like uh, 5, 6 times. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um... You should never play the same map twice, so that's that's cool. Um, I kind of like my rank system. I would like to see it implemented. Uh, <laughs> like to see some of these maps removed. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, uh, there are certain maps that have been um, deactivated currently. I believe, and those would be Minsk and Kharkiv. 
Um, not really sure when we're going to see those maps again. So I did not put Kharkiv on this uh, map pool. However, when it does come back into the game, I would like to see it put back into ranked. I believe it was in ranked last season, but it's not going to be in ranked this season because, you know, uh, reasons, uh, obvious reasons that I don't think I need to mention. Um, just watch any news station anytime in the next week and you'll figure out why I said um, things I've said. Um, so yeah, this is my ranked uh, fix, I guess, to make it kind of less less stressful to try and complete but still keeping the skill aspect um to where you you actually have to have skill to first of all complete it well not really first of all to complete it but to get to uh, higher than i also i forgot something oh my god no This is uh, something you need to do. If you do my system, you would have to add a lower rank than bronze. It would just be a qualified kind of rank to where you completed all 100 uh, qualifier battles. Um, you just get a rank that's like, you don't get a badge or anything. You don't get a camo. You didn't reach bronze. You don't get bronze. And like I think it's like top half of people who complete ranked get bronze or something. And then like 25% get silver and then like 10% get gold or something. I don't know. Uh, that's not my area of expertise. Rewards isn't really my area of expertise. So, uh, yeah, I'm just um, I'm just uh, kind of theory crafting of uh, stuff that could be done to fix ranked. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oops. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.